Do you ever wonder if you have an anxiety disorder, or maybe you've already been diagnosed with one, but you think you might actually have more than one? Of course, if you suspect you have an anxiety disorder, you should seek help from a mental health practitioner. But in this video, I'm going to ask you a number of questions that will give you a pretty good indication of whether you have generalised anxiety disorder. That's because the questions are based on the criteria in the Diagnostic Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, which is used by mental health practitioners to diagnose conditions like anxiety disorders. In future videos, I'll be covering panic disorder, OCD, illness anxiety disorder and social anxiety. So if you're interested in them, make sure you subscribe and click on the notification bell. So let's get started. I'm going to make five statements. If the statements are true for you, answer yes. Otherwise, answer no. Make a note of how many times you answer yes. Question one, I have experienced excessive anxiety and worry for at least six months, occurring more days than not. My worries are about a number of events or activities, such as work or school performance. If this statement is true for you, answer yes. Note, if the worry is about just one specific thing, such as panic attacks or social situations or a phobia or health, then the answer should be no. Question two, I find it difficult to control my worry. Answer yes or no. Question three, my anxiety and worry are associated with three or more of the following six symptoms. Restlessness or feeling keyed up or on edge, being easily fatigued, difficulty concentrating or mind going blank, irritability, muscle tension, sleep disturbance, difficulty falling or staying asleep, or restless and satisfying sleep. Note, only answer yes if you have three or more of these symptoms, and they've been present for more days than not over at least the last six months. Question four, my anxiety, worry, or physical symptoms cause me significant distress or impairment in social, work, or other important areas of functioning. If this is true, answer yes. Question five, the anxiety is not caused by a substance, for example, narcotics or the side effect of medication or a physical condition like hypothyroidism. So if you've answered yes to all five questions, then you likely meet the criteria of generalized anxiety disorder. So what does that mean? Well, let me tell you first what it doesn't mean. It doesn't mean that there is something inherently wrong with your brain. Everyone experiences anxiety at different times of their life, but your anxiety has reached a level where it is likely to be classed as an anxiety disorder, so it is likely to need treatment. Treatment can help you manage your anxiety so that it drops below the level where it meets the criteria of an anxiety disorder. The most commonly used non-drug based treatment for anxiety disorders is cognitive behavioural therapy and it can be very effective. If you can't afford or access a therapist, fear not, because I have hundreds of CBT based videos on my channel. And if you have had five yeses, a good place to start would be my generalised anxiety disorder playlist here. Take care now.